Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um today I'm going to be telling you some embarrassing stories because I kind of watched a few on YouTube and I enjoyed to watch them. I figured maybe you guys would enjoy it too. Um I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. Um yeah, I've been working and lazy. Here is my, I'm fitting two into this video, two embarrassing stories. So hopefully you like them. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So we'll start with the first one. So the first one was in year three and I just started at a new school and we were in the computer lab. Um, <laughs> okay, so we were in the computer lab and we were all sitting down and we were doing these, I don't know if you guys had to do this, but it was like this computer program, like it was like a typing program and it was like this um, koala, I don't remember what it was called, but it was a koala and it, um, it kind of went on little adventures and stuff and used to ride different things and you had to like type really quickly um, when like a certain monster thing would come and try and eat, like a crocodile or something. Anyway, so um, we were all playing that and they were all like competing against each other because they were really good at it and here I am like... So I was sitting there and then I was like, I kind of need to go to the toilet. Just for like a, you know, number one, just for a little wee. I was really too, a bit too nervous to put my hand up, like, I was very shy. So um, I kept saying, I, I just um, sucked it all back in. No, that's disgusting, that sounds just gross. I held it in, um, like, got, built those cool muscles up. And I was holding it in for dear life. And um, eventually I put my hand up. So I was like waiting, waiting, and I I don't know, the teacher must have just thought that I was having trouble with the program or something. And I was just like, no, 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 Miss Nook, I really need to go. But obviously I didn't say anything because I was nervous. And then, oh my goodness, I don't even know how it happened. <laughs> but all of a sudden, I just, bladder walls were going from like this, being really stretched, to just whoosh. <laughs> so I, just wet myself. Uh. Chair wasn't like completely flat. Like most chairs kind of scoop in a bit, like in the middle. So it kind of collected itself. But I was just sitting in it and I was like, oh my God. And just when it happened, um, like the teacher was like, oh yeah, M. Like, and I was like, oh, can I please go to the toilet? And she was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. And I, so like, I was about to get up to go. And she was like, oh, do you want someone to go with you? Cause like, um, cause I was just new. And she was like this, do you know where the toilets are? down like the side like on the it was like on the bottom of the building and she was like oh I'll get you know so and so to go with you I feel like she was the only one that actually knew what happened she sent this girl to go with me and I hopped up and I just felt it all drip off the back of me and I was walking really quickly and we we're in this winter uniform so it was like a really thick skirt thank goodness and stockings so like that would have absorbed um, a fair bit of it I guess <laughs> so I, that took a long time and she was just like awkwardly waiting for me and then eventually I came out I washed my hands and went up to the computer room again and I walked in and I could just see this trail so I was like oh my god I don't know exactly what happened then but I ended up being like oh my goodness what the heck there's water on my chair how did I not see that before and I just sat in it how did I not even see that like that was my story solid story right and the kids believe me they were legit like oh my goodness how did you not see that like what like why would there be water in the computer room and everyone bought it like everyone bought it and and i was stoked i was so stoked but i was still like petrified and then everyone left and the teacher asked me to stay behind i don't know how she said it or what she said but to clean it up the thing and i was like oh okay i was like i don't even know how that got there to the teacher who like obviously would have known exactly what had happened um and i so adamantly lied to her like i was so adamant that it wasn't me i knew it was me but i was like oh my goodness i don't even know how that happened i was like i swear to you i'm telling the truth i was like i don't even know it wasn't me i promise i was like like I was like so confused and stuff like I was pretending and putting it on and oh my goodness I'm so embarrassed now because that teacher was probably thinking yeah no you, you wait yourself like then it gets worse right so we she went and got us gloves and like some stuff to soak like um those blue cloth wipe things that you use in the kitchen and that um I can't remember what they're called and 
ice cream containers and um, the ice cream containers were cream coloured. <laughs> and so we, like, we, she, like, she had the gloves on and stuff and she like put it, oh I feel so sorry for her. I'm so sorry Mrs Lang that I lied to you and I'm so sorry that you had to clean up my wee. I am so, so sorry. So she put it in there and like it obviously absorbed in the cloth and then she squeezed it out into the ice cream container and it obviously squeezed out yellow and I was like <laughs> I was like oh my god oh. and so I still lied like all the way back I was like no 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 I don't even know what happened I can't believe it and then she took me to the office and, and they called my mum to come and pick me up. Told her that I'd had an accident. I'm pretty sure I told my mum what would happen. She bought new stockings and a skirt and stuff and like they kind of, woo, they kind of um, expected me to go back to class. And I was like, oh, hmm, uh-uh, no, no. And uh, so I, we were sitting on like the chairs on the oval and my class was going to Book Buddies. And so my mum kind of like encouraged me to just go to book buddies. Like she was like, just go to that and then come back and, and we can go or whatever. So I went to book buddies um, and as we were like walking there, like one of the boys saw that my mum was sitting there on the oval line. He was like, hey Tracy, do you know that Emily's sat in this water? Like, like he was being dead serious. Like he wasn't being sarcastic. He was like, I can't believe this. She's, she didn't even know and stuff. And my mum was like, Oh, yeah. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and so we went into Book Buddies, did Book Buddies and everything. I got out there as quick as I can. The class went out the other door, and then I went out the door closest to the oval to just run back to my mum. And the teacher was like, she got my name wrong. She thought my name was Olivia, but she was like, Olivia, are they going out the other door? Olivia! And then I just ignored her, shut the door, and, and went out, and we left. I vowed to myself that I would n never tell anyone until year seven. That this was happening year three as well. That I would never tell anyone until year seven. It got to year seven and I was like, oh hell no, I ain't ready for that. But then I think in like year nine or 10, actually it might have been year 10, is when I told people. And that's how long it took me. So that's story one. And that went for a fair while, so I'm sorry. But now story two. So I went to the movies with my friend at the time. And we came out and we went to like where I live, like at the place that we went to the movies, like the shopping centre. Um, there's like a Max Brenner there. And if you haven't heard of Max Brenner, it's, um, I don't know if it's just an Australian thing or if it's in America or whatever as well. But it's like a chocolate restaurant kind of thing, like a chocolate cafe. And, um, and yeah, basically they have chocolate everything. And we were like sitting outside for a little while talking and stuff. And then I went in to order drinks. And because there was only two of us, one person had to stay outside by themselves while the other person lined up. So I was lining up and um, I was wearing a skirt. Um, it was like a long skirt. It might have covered somewhere, I think. But it's a, a long striking skirt. It was like blue. Oh no. What does this look like? Oh, have a look. Oh, here it is. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what the skirt looks like really nice actually I love it. I was lining up and I was wearing that skirt and we were just ordering something like a oh, hot chocolate or something and um and these two, <laughs> these two girls came up to me and they I thought they were they, I must have known them or something because they came up and they got really close and they started to like talk to me and I was like oh freaking you know, out like what the heck is this like they were like being really discreet though and I was like wait like do I know you but they came around and they were just like hey um and we just thought we'd let you know um, that they were like, oh, because you know, if it was us, we'd want someone to tell us and stuff. But on the back of your skirt, you've got some like, I, like period of blood, or if it's like chocolate. And I was like, sorry, what? And so I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Like, I, I was really appreciative that they'd said that because. Um, it would be quite embarrassing to walk around with it. So I kind of like had a little like discreet little look and I was like, oh crap. I I was done waiting. I'd been waiting in the line for like 15 minutes and got halfway. The line was so long and I was like, that's it. I don't care. I'm losing my spot and going out. And I was like, told the girl, I was like, 
I was like, dude, I just, these girls just came up and said this, this, this to me. And I was like, look, and I, it's just like, show me. And I was like, I'm going to the bathroom. I grabbed a tampon out of my back and went to the bathroom. And, um, and I got there and I like, obviously pulled down the skirt and like looked at my underwear and there was like, obviously nothing there. Um, and this is so awkward. <laughs> no, it happens to every girl, so. Uh, and I looked and I was like, well, but, like, and then I was like, do I smell what's on my skirt then to see what it is? And then I was like, no, that's gross. And then I was like, well, I know it's not the alternate option, so it has to be like chocolate. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just smell it. And so I kind of like got it and it was like, I didn't want it too close because I'm like, that's gross. So I just held it back a little bit, smelt it, and I was like, thank the Lord above, it is chocolate. So I like ran back to my friend, I was like cracking up laughing and I was like, it was chocolate, it was chocolate. And um, and she was like, are you sure? And I was just like, wait a second, stand up. Because we were sitting in the same spot out in this restaurant. I was like, stand up and let's check your butt and see if you know, you've know you got any on it. So she stands up and truth be told, she's got chocolate on her butt as well. Um, <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Now that I'm saying it, it doesn't sound as embarrassing, but I was so embarrassed because I was in this really 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 busy restaurant with like hot guys everywhere um it was like a friday night maybe so it was pretty busy friday night or saturday night and i was so mortified but i was just so glad that it was chocolate and nothing else but then um oh, it was just hilarious and we looked on the chairs and we couldn't see like where the chocolate was we didn't know if it was when we were at the movies but um it was funny so that concludes my two embarrassing stories for today. I actually have tons of embarrassing stories, um, as all my friends would know. <laughs> so if you guys liked that, give a thumbs up. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!